Hey folks, Ryan here from Mr. Rouse Gaming Rants and Reviews, and I've got another rant for you today. Um, it's something that I want to talk about a little bit because I see it quite frequently, or I hear about it quite frequently, and it really, really, really bugs me. And that is what we like to commonly refer to as uh, gatekeeping um, in this hobby. And what do I mean by gatekeeping? Well, um, I got the, I've pulled up this one thread here that kind of, it summarizes it really quite nicely where it says, um, it's like, it's like looking down on people who enjoy or even deliberately prefer quote unquote gateway or simpler games. And it's that act of like looking down on them and being able to kind of, kind of like get kind of like in a snobby, uh, type of way. Like you're, you're looking down on these people, like they're like some sort of they're not quote unquote real gamers type of thing, and it, this really bugs me. And this this kind of attitude really really needs to cease to exist. Um, plain and simple. If you want the too long don't read thing, let people enjoy what they want to enjoy. And if that is the case of now, uh, I'm just getting off the top off rant here already because I've been I've been the victim of gatekeeping, um, even though I been in the hobby for quite some time now um i've had numerous twitter threads hijacked um in the past by oh i'll tell you one right off the right off the example i enjoy the game seven wonders duel uh my wife and i really really enjoy it um we bought the first expansion pantheon really really enjoyed it um and then when the second expansion came out agora we played with that one rich really enjoyed it too and then there is the variant where you can combine both Pantheon and Agora together. And I thought this was a phenomenal experience. It was a great, it was a great game. It's brain, brain burning, makes the game pretty darn complex when you put through all the little nuances in it. Uh, posted this feeling on Twitter and all of a sudden I get attacked by some people saying, well, why would you even buy Agora when Pantheon is perfect in the way it is, you don't need another expansion. It's just a more convoluted mess. But I'm sorry, I didn't ask for your opinion about this. I was expressing my happiness that I enjoyed. Uh, I found a game that I really enjoyed, a variant that I really enjoyed, and I wanted to share it with there. And then all of a sudden, these people have to come out and they have to hijack there and to kind of try to suck the fun out of it. Why does that even need to happen? It doesn't. Okay, people? Um, just because, and I, and I hear these conversations in um, the local game stores. Well, like like something like, oh, help out my friend here. He's new to games. Um, don't worry. He's going to become a real gamer soon. But let's try to get him there first. Like, why does that even need to be, like, does this person even know? Does this person have something like they enjoy? Do they, what, what kind of themes do they enjoy? Do they have topics that they really enjoy? And does, is there a game out there? Maybe they really enjoy space themes and politics and something like that. Why can't they just like, you know, try to learn like something like Twilight Imperium or maybe Cosmic Encounter or something along those lines um, rather than say, oh, oh, oh no, those are those are too complex for you. You won't you won't understand those just yet. Those conversations don't need to happen. OK, let people try things out for themselves. If they enjoy it, they enjoy it. If they don't enjoy it, they don't enjoy it. But it's not you don't need to be the one that decides that for people. OK. Um, I often, when I'm in amazing stories, I am often used as a game guide. Um, people are often asking me if, what, what are my recommendations for things? And I typically will always start off with, well, what kind of things do you, what, what kind of other hobbies do you enjoy? Um, what are some themes that you really, really kind of like, you know, gravitate towards to? And I'll try to think of a game that kind of gives them. I'm not always recommending things like Catan or Carcassonne or and I'm not always go. Those are not my always go to's and everything like that. But sometimes it is. And people will say, well, I really enjoy Catan. What's the next step? If they're inviting for that information, perfect. OK, but don't just say, oh, they're, they're like, I really, really enjoy Catan. I don't you know, I don't want to really change that experience. Cool. I'm glad that somebody has found a game like Catan or Carcassonne or Ticket to Ride. I'm glad that they've um, that they've found those things that they enjoy. Um, don't rip that away from them. Don't just say, oh, wow, I've got a way better version of Catan. Or why are you still playing Catan? Well, you should be playing this. Those, those comments do not need to exist. Okay. 
um, a game that I still really enjoy to this day. Even though I have this big, massive collection behind me of 350 plus games that range from party games to very, very complex games, a game that I still very much enjoy playing is a game of Munchkin. Okay, I mention that to a lot of people, and they're like, oh, "Well." Why do you still play Munchkin? Munchkin's a crap game, blah, blah, blah. I didn't invite you to say those things, okay? Um, Munchkin is still a very fun game to me. Yes, there are, maybe there are better designed games of Mun uh, uh, things that Munchkin does than they do a little bit better. Sure, cool, that's okay. I really enjoy it. Don't come down on me because I enjoy something, Okay. Those conversations, those comments do not need to exist in this hobby. This hobby is meant to be inclusive. Okay, it's supposed to be welcoming. It's supposed to be um, community building. We are a niche hobby. If, like it or like, for lack of better terms, we are a very niche hobby. We do not need to further divide and be, say only certain select people can join my club because I like these types of games and only people who like these types of games can I converse with or I can game with type of thing. That type of attitude needs not to exist. One of my favorite things that I like to do when I used to be able to go to conventions or when I used to go to conventions and everything like that, I am the person that's walking around and looking for the people that have like the little flags up that say, hey, we need a teacher and I will literally teach you Anything as long as I know what the game is, I don't care. If 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 even you know, if it's like what I consider maybe at this point, you know what? It's not my favorite game anymore. I used to play it a lot. It's not my favorite. I'll still come and teach that to you. I am not going to come out here and say, you know what? I used to like this game. I think there's a lot of games that do this better. You should be playing. I will never say those things. Okay, and if I end up do saying some things and somebody's watching this video and I say that thing to you, I would like you to slap me in the face. Okay, because that kind of talk does not need to exist in this hobby. Gatekeeping needs to stop 100%. Let people enjoy what they enjoy. Do not look down on people for what they enjoy in games. Okay, my trend, my trend right now in gaming is I really, really enjoy family games. Okay, my family, is, my, I, have, I have young kids that are starting to get into gaming okay we are playing i oh my gosh how many times do we play games like sorry guess who um da -da 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 monopoly and still like things like that my kids are enjoying those things are there better games out there absolutely i am not gonna go poo poo on their fun everything like that i'm not gonna say well i i don't we don't play you know what if we want to be gamers we got to play these real games. No, I am never going to say that. I do not want to instill that type of thought into my kids or anything like that. Yes, we are starting to play more, um, quote unquote, hobbyist type of games. Okay, I've been getting some review copies that have been coming into the studio here. And we've been playing through those games. Kids have been having a lot of fun with that. But still, at the same time, Dad, can we play Connect 4? Dad, can we play Trouble? Absolutely, freaking lutely because you are, if you're going to have fun, I'm going to have fun. And you know what? Just being able to spend that quality time with somebody is priceless. I am not going to talk down to them ever, or I'm not going to talk down to anybody that likes to say, like, play a good old great game of Parcheesi or something like, along those lines. Absolutely. You're, if you're spending time with people, gaming with people, absolutely, freaking lutely okay? Gatekeeping needs to stop there's no there, there there's there's no room in this hobby for that kind of that kind of thought please oh please oh please i if you're listening to this you're watching this give me your comments um do you agree with the oh, i'm really hoping people agree with me because i really don't understand the people that are out there that think that they they like vitell lacerda like games i like vitell lacerda games um there are people out there that like these big heavy complex strategy games good for you you found something that you really enjoy but now don't take that train of thought and think hey that other person over there they're playing a game of azul all right i i'm better than azul okay and i'm gonna let them know those people know that they what they're playing right now isn't up to snuff like you're not a real gamer if you're liking is come on people give your give yourselves a look in the mirror shake your heads okay um, there is no room in this hobby and I've been seeing it on Twitter and I've been seeing it in Reddit and I've been seeing it um, 
in, in the in the local game stores, and I, I just scratch my head like, why do you why does this need to exist? It's almost at to the point I'm at a breaking point where if I see more of this, like even in person. I have to come out and I have to say something. It, I, it, I, I'm a person that doesn't like to have this types of confrontations, but I think it's starting to need to, it, it, it needs to happen because man, oh man, that person is not having a good time. Okay. Um, you do not need to decide who has fun and what kind of fun they are, they are wanting to have. Okay. I think I've had, I think I've said what I've, what I've really wanted to say here, um, gatekeeping, it, 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 it's, it's toxic. It cannot be allowed in, in this hobby. Cons are coming back. Okay, there's a lot of these cons that are hop uh, that, that are happening here. And there's going to be people that are discovering games um, for the first time. And that's really, really exciting. And we need to bring them in. Don't bring them into a toxic environment. Let's bring them into a warm, welcoming environment person wants to learn a game of munchkin teach them a game of munchkin if you know it you may not want you may not like munchkin anymore you may have played it a 100 million times and you know all the cards inside and out and uh, oh my gosh this game is poorly designed blah 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 i don't care that person wants to have fun with it give them give them the time of show them the time of their life and show them how awesome games can be and that does not mean to put down something or put down something that they really enjoy and that they really 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 like okay all right that i think that's the rant that's the rant for today that's that's the rant for today i'm gotten okay got a little heated there if you're really enjoying the rant videos here that i'm producing and you're luck and you and if you like the playthroughs and the reviews that i've also been doing please consider subscribing to this channel um, like, comment, comment on this video. Gatekeeping, bad. What have been your experiences with gate gatekeeping? Okay, I would like I would like to know. And people really need to understand that these things, what they're doing, it, it's not okay. It's not okay whatsoever. All right. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe to this channel, and please keep your eyes out for the reviews and the occasional playthroughs. I got some really exciting guests coming up uh in, in a little while here and i just posted on twitter today um some of the things that i've got in the works for reviews and so yeah lots of exciting content coming towards you in uh, mr rouse gaming rants and reviews all right folks rant over